Hey there, Aerostar Pilot fans. We're in uh, November, a whole lot of ones today. There were a few questions uh, that came up in some of the past videos about the flaps. And somebody had mentioned, why did you bring the flaps up after takeoff and put them in the down position afterwards? Well, that's not really what happened. So today we'll give you a little bit of an explanation of how the hydraulic flap system works in the Aerostar. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. Ted Smith Aerostar 602P 700 converted to 700 by Machen Aircraft, also known as Aerostar Aircraft Corporation. And there's the big flaps. And as you can see, they're a pretty good size. That's uh, pretty, you know, a little bit more than, than half of the, uh, the wingspan. And they go down to 45 degrees. With the flaps in a full down position, that's 45 degrees. They are big barn doors with a lot of drag and help slow this uh, very fast, slippery wing down in a hurry. Now in the takeoff position, the flaps are set at 20 degrees. So there's not a whole heck of a lot of deflection. However, the flaps have moved back by quite a bit. So when they're fully retracted, they're all the way back up into the wing about this far. And these are Fowler flaps. So putting them at 20 increases the cord quite a bit, and that's the distance from the leading edge of the wing to the trailing edge of the flap. And as a result, it generates um, more lift than it does drag, although there's still some drag. So this is the takeoff position for a normal takeoff. And I'll show you what happens and why there was some confusion when I retracted the flaps on one of my videos. So this would be normal takeoff uh, position for the flaps. And as you can see here, there's an indicator. Now, that only works when there's power. There's no electrical power required to deploy or retract the flaps. And that's because the system's 100% hydraulic with the exception of the gauge itself that's telling you that it's 20 degrees right now. So after I took off and we reached about 110 knots, I put the flaps in the up position. And the, that just mechanically moves a valve that uh, changes the direction of the hydraulic fluid so that it either is going up or going down or is off. So it's a three-way position. So after I took off, somebody said, well, I put the flaps up and it looks like they're up, right? But normal procedure is to put the flap handle back to neutral, which sets the valve basically to off. So the valve is up, off, or down, off meaning neutral. So if I want to put the flaps back down to say 10 degrees, it takes about three seconds for every 10. So I'm just going to put it in the down position, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, back to neutral. If I don't put it in neutral, then the uh, flaps would continue to go all the way down. And that would not be a good thing um, if I only wanted 10 or 20 degrees. You can see they go all the way down. If I just leave them down, you have to turn it back to neutral in order to stop the flow. Now, the reason you would put it back to neutral if you were at flaps full would be in the event of a hydraulic failure and you lost your hydraulic fluid, the aerodynamic loads on the flaps, just from flying along and the wind hitting them, would tend to push them back up. And because it is a system that is completely connected together hydraulically, they could come up at a different rate, which would cause a what's known as a split flap condition. That would not be good, because that makes you roll. And if I'm on final, I don't want to be rolling. Say, if you like these videos, please uh, subscribe and like and ring the bell so you can see more when they come up. I'm trying to put out some more uh, videos more frequently. It's just a matter of time to uh, get out here and do it and then edit, which is the biggest challenge. So anyway, uh, enjoy and and if you have any uh, ideas for what you want to see, go ahead and put it in the comments. I know I've got a few comments on the jet. Somebody, uh, some people are wanting to see a little bit more on that, and it is in the works. I've got to get over there with uh, Aerostar a little bit more and spend some time talking to Jim Christie.
Yeah, we don't want bumpy. Uh, it'll be a little bit bumpy, but not too bad. Oh, God, it's crazy. I hate this. <laughs> Roger, 2242, Salt Lake Center, send via the Cayenne 4, Robert Boys, Alpha 10 minutes 3, 0, 0, landing east. We'll send via the Cayenne 3, landing east, right there, 2242, Cayenne 4, pardon me.